Avanil Kumar and here is chapter 3.2 on characteristics of polynomials. Determine all possible number of zeros for a polynomial with degree n. Now let us understand zeros of a polynomial. So we will consider even and odd polynomials separately, right? So we will consider even order, I should say even degree. and odd degree. Reason is very clear that their curves are kind of different. An odd degree polynomial has no restriction in range. However, even degree polynomials do have a restriction in range, right? So that makes huge difference as far as zeros are concerned, right? Now we will also consider for the sake of drawing diagrams I will say leading coefficient a n is uh, let us say positive for both of them right so leading coefficient I am considering positive that means what that means right side is up right so that means for the graph right side will be up so in my examples I am assuming that the leading coefficient is positive. On the left side, I'll draw even degree polynomials and on the right, odd degree polynomials, right? And then we'll try to figure out the possible number of zeros. Now, if I have a even degree polynomial, in that case, how many zeros are possible? One, let's consider a parabola. Very simple, even degree polynomial, right? Now, parabola is a degree two. You can draw a parabola like this, right? So this is kind of x squared plus 1. How many zeros? None. Zero, right? So uh, we are taking 1 with the degree 2, right? And let's count the number of zeros. And what zeros do we get? Zeros we get is first a 0. And then if I push it downwards, then we get what? We get like this. Is it okay? Let's say this is a 0. So we can get 1, 0. And if I further push it downwards, that means vertical translation by negative, let us say, 1. In that case, we get two zeros. Correct? We get two zeros. So the number of zeros for a parabola which has a degree of 2 is 0, 1, or 2. So you can say that for an even degree function, let us say if the degree is n, so let me just jump to the conclusion. If the degree is n, then the number of zeros will be from 0, 1, 2, to n, right? Okay, this is the conclusion I am jumping to. You need to verify whether it is true or not, correct? So the maximum number of zeros which you can have is same as the degree. That is what we are saying. But in case the function is even, then the minimum number is 0. Now let us consider odd degree polynomial. To start with, we can take a, take a line, for example. Okay? Or let's take a cubic function. Okay, So the cubic function will be kind of like this. Now, since odd degree function moves from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1, they have to cross the x-axis, so they will definitely have at least 1, 0. Even if you take a line, right, let's take a line, it has to cross the x-axis, so it will have at least 1, 0. So what we notice here is that minimum number of 0 is 1. In this case, it is 0. Now let us find maximum number, right? So, maximum is how much? Now, for a degree 3, I could also draw a graph which could be like this. Correct? It can start here and there. Number of zeros is 2, right? Or, I could sketch a function which could be kind of like this. So it has got 1, 2, 3. And these are the three possibilities. Right? Now that means that the maximum is same as n. 
3 cube. We are talking about 3. The maximum is 3 for us, right? So we can jump to a conclusion that if we have an odd degree polynomial, then minimum is 1 and the maximum is n, depending on the degree. Do you understand? So for an even degree polynomial, the number of zeros will be minimum 0, zeros, right? And maximum will be n zeros, correct? And total number of zeros can be maximum n. So there are these possible 0 to n uh, for the even degree and 1 to n for odd degree polynomials. I hope that is clear. Now the question here for you is what is the difference between zero and x intercept think about it now all these points are x intercepts also right we can say number of x intercepts are zero one or two for a parabola minimum number of x intercepts for an even degree polynomial is zero and maximum number of x intercepts is n now what is the difference between zeros and x intercepts well, remember, zeros have order. Zeros have order or we say multiplicity. For example, this is a linear zero. It crosses the line, the x-intercept. X-intercept is a point where the graph crosses the x-axis. Zero gives you, in addition to that, more information. Characteristics of the graph at that point this one has an order of 1, this 0, it crosses like a line, this 0 has order of 2, and this one has order of 3. See the shape, it is very different. Take care of these shapes, which will come handy to you when we will do graphing of polynomials. I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.